Hi, my name is Olli. I'm the product manager for Ozo Player SDK. I'm going to tell you what you need to have as prerequisites for using the software development kit. So you have decided uh, to develop virtual reality 360 degree video applications using the Ozo Player SDK. We have made the SDK very simple to use, but you should still be familiar with software development and cross-platform coding especially. You can develop uh, applications with also Player SDK either on Windows or Mac. And you should have development tools of your choice pre-installed on your computer. As an example, our team is using Visual Studio on Windows and Xcode on Mac. Since our Player SDK is multi-platform, you'll need to get the latest platform-specific development tools depending on the platform on which you want to deploy your applications. If you develop for Android, you will need to get the latest version of Android Studio, Android SDK and also the Android NDK. You will also need to download Oculus Mobile SDK if developing for Gear VR or Google VR if you develop for Google Daydream or Cardboard. Be sure to check out the documentation for the latest versions which you will need to use. If you develop with Windows, uh, you need to have a Visual Studio 2013 or 2015 and you will also need Oculus Desktop SDK and Runtime if developing for Oculus Rift and HTC Vive SDK and Runtime if developing for Vive. If you develop for iOS, you will need Xcode 7.3 or newer, iOS SDK 9.3 or newer and Cocoa Pods. Google VR is needed to run Cardboard on iOS. Our documentation includes the specific instructions on how to install and take the various HMD SDKs into use with the Ozo Player SDK. If you're looking to view the content in an HMD, please check the specific requirements such as computer requirements from the vendor's own pages. Then you need to install the Ozo Player SDK itself. It comes with two different installers, one for Mac and one for Windows. Additionally, there is a project for Unity file for using SDK through Unity Game Engine. It is very simple to run the installer. For example, right here I'm running it on Windows. You just need to click on the installer, the installation will open and you follow the instructions on the screen. And you should have no trouble finalizing the installation of the Ozo Player SDK. Thank you for watching. In our next video, we will tell you a bit more about the basics of the Ozo Player SDK and what's included.